And we start in the Eastern Cape where government is launching the Provincial Aviation School and this is at the 43 Air School in Port Alfred today. And it is a milestone of course in the education sector in the province. The Eastern Cape Aviation School aims to establish a high school for aerospace science as part of a new model of public education focusing on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Kim Daniels is at the 43 Air School helping us unpack this new venture and uh, Kim fascinating fascinating stuff this morning and uh, it, it, it's something that I can imagine you know as a parent as a learner you're watching this and you're thinking I want to do this because this is groundbreaking. Good morning, Sakina, and definitely it's groundbreaking, it's exciting, it's something new where young uh, boys and girls, young learners can come now or have access to such a world-class facility. And speaking of 43 Air School, um, it's a world-renowned um, facility. I was actually speaking to some of the learners who are currently enrolled here, talking to them about the program. It's absolutely fascinating. Uh, when you come to the school, um, they'll teach you everything you need to know about aerospace, about flying, about uh, piloting all of those technical terms but I'm joined now by the chairman of this institution Mr. Ati Niman. Thank you so much sir for joining us. Just tell us a little bit about the school. If I personally enroll what would I get from the school? Good morning Kim, morning viewers. Uh, if you come to 43A school you're coming to a internationally recognized aviation training facility. We train uh, airline pilots engineers and, and air traffic controllers. We have over 50 nationalities at this school at any given time. We are the preferred supplier for many of the national airlines, international airlines. By example, Indigo Airlines, the biggest airline in India soon, and as well as Vietnam Airlines. Uh, we have a lot of Vietnamese, for instance, training here. And so we have from all African countries and military pilots who do their initial uh, training with us and then of course South Africans. Now our, our makeup of the school at the moment is about 350 students permanently here and uh, of course COVID has affected us quite badly but now after COVID we are actually glad to announce that we're back at full strength. Mm -hmm. The school we 100% full by March this year and we have uh, behind us the beautiful Sunshine Coast one of the best training areas in the world. We have six and a half thousand square kilometers of training space here. And if you come here, you will walk into a world-class facility. Your qualification that you can get here at 43 Air School, once you're qualified, will be able to give you a job anywhere in the world, working for any one of the airlines. Your first flight after you've done our full airline course will be with passengers in the back on the airline. That's what we do here. Ati, just quickly before we take it back to studio, um, I was speaking to a young man from India, is one of your learners here at the school. Um, he says he came all the way to South Africa because the weather conditions are more favorable than they are in India. Yes. Does that make this school here in Port Alfred a destination of choice um, for these learners? Um, look, the, there are other places in the world like Florida where the weather is also good. So they, they do have choices where to go. But I think the value point that we offer, the price, versus the quality of the training. 43 Air School is one of the top privately owned flying schools in the world, if not the top school. We've been voted that many times. Uh, by in, for, for instance, 2018, 43 Air School was voted the best airline company in the whole of South Africa by, by the Civil Aviation, who is the authority that actually audits all the airlines, all the training schools, and all the aviation companies in South Africa. So, um, Yes, our weather is, an, uh, is a, a, an advantage, but I think the quality of our training and the value point of, of, of the cost of training in South Africa is very attractive to international students. Ati, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Thank you. There was Ati, just the uh, chairperson of the institution, just saying why um, the specific facility um, is so world-class, what they have to offer. Now, you must remember with this program that the, the provincial government is offering, we're giving our young boys and girls a chance and access to these things with their STEM subjects as well, that being math, science and technology, you know, just to put them in the spaces, spaces they could previously never venture into. We will be speaking to the Premier a little bit later this morning, uh, but for now from us, Ian Port Alfred, it's back to you in studio. Well, thank you so much, uh, Kim Daniels. Very exciting development there in the Eastern Cape.